some chili beans and cornbread for dinner something quick and quick and easy that's all I'm going to do it's ho hopefully David won't mind that so I'm going to get the chili bean started and I use a little bit of this and a little bit of that when I'm cooking I've already pre-cooked my hamburger and I always do that and a couple other things I have to do I usually try to get everything ready. I'm glad that wasn't my finger. Well, I'm going to cut these onions and stuff. I had these in a bag. They're not real. Well, they're real, but they're not. They're frozen. And I need to cut them down a little bit smaller here. It's a little harder to cook for two people. I'm married now, and I'm used to cooking for, let me see, there were seven children and two adults, so... I'm used to cooking for that many and it's a little harder to cut that way down. I always just throw a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I very seldom measure. Got me a little brown sugar here. My hands are very clean of course because I'm not a nitpicky. And I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of brown sugar in there and I'll do a taste test here in a little bit. And a whole lot of chili powder. Like I said, taste test in a little bit, and of course, good old garlic. I use garlic. If it ain't got sugar, it's got garlic. That's the way I do it. Garlic's good for the soul. And I'll taste that. And I gotta get. I use different kinds of beans. Right now this is tomatoes. There's first up. I usually use um, stewed tomatoes but these are small tomatoes. I'm forgetting about something. Let me see here. I need to find me one more ingredient here. I need some tomato juice. Be right back here. That wasn't my right. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I put me some can of tomatoes in there. Now I'm going to put some beans. I'm unusual, I reckon. I like a little bit of all kinds of beans. This is a can of Great Northern beans. I described what come to first. And I like some pork and beans in mine. And you use red kidney beans most of the time. But like I said, I'm unusual. There's a... I what I got coming up now, but... It's a dark kidney bean. That was a dark kidney bean. There's me a can of pork and beans. I'm going to get another can of uh, kidney beans to put in there because really that's the main bean that you usually use is a kidney bean. Of course, I guess it don't matter. You could use whichever one you wanted. Different. People like different things. See how full we're getting here. These 
pots cook pretty fast. Right it back. Okay, um, I had to get me one more can of beans. I hope my pot don't run over here. If it's getting heavier, I might have to change pots. And the only other thing that I need to add is a little bit of my hair juice. Actually, probably might have to get another pot. Stir it all up here. Do a taste test. And if it tastes all right, then all we got to do is let it simmer while we make some cornbread. I usually make a big pan, big cast iron skillet of cornbread, but I'm going to make a little bit smaller tonight. Won't take it as long to cook. These beans, really, they just have to, you can boil them a little bit, get them to boil, and then just let them simmer. Now, let's see what we got to add here. Brown sugar. light brown I grabbed. That's why it's taking a little more. Normally I, I use dark brown. It don't take as much dark brown as light brown. That'll probably be good enough right there. Okay, let me get the sugar off of my hand. And here's my spoon for casting. Drinks the rest of the tomato juice that I don't use. It's good for you. In some way or another, it won't get wasted. It'll get put in macaroni. music in the background. All right, let me rinse my spoon off. I've got a, I've got a sampler usually. And I think, first of all, I've got to do one more thing here, stir it up again, and I've got a taster to a sample because that's my, I've, Got one person usually that does all my sampling. I like a strong, heavy taste in my food. Home, down southern cooking, all the way, and I like a good, strong taste in my food. When it gets the thumb up from the taster in a minute, then I'll be happy. And then I get me a little bite there. Get me, get me, me a big bite. Mmm. What do you think? Very good. Very good. Thumbs up. All right, we're gonna let them simmer then. While we make some cornbread. Put my lid on there. You can't cook fast with these pots because there's seven layers of steel or iron or whatever anyway. They're good. They cook fast and they don't really take long. It don't take long to cook the meal. It takes to prepare a long time. <laughs>
Okay, I want to stir this up. Getting ready to make my cornbread. I want to stir this up so I'll see. As it starts to boil, and it boils out everywhere. And I'll have to maybe leave the lid off of it, and that'll stop that from happening right there. You either gotta leave the lid off, or you have to turn it down more. And I didn't want to make no more than this, cause it'll be too much. Let me get some of that off of there, cause it's hard to get off of the stove. right there it turned down to two these pots really cook fast okay, okay now we're going to make some cornbread to go off our chili beans and I hope I've got everything out that I need and everything else out of the way all right now like everything else I use sugar I'm going to try to cut this down some and complication while ago with my corn meal so I've got a little neighbor over next door me and her close and so I had to borrow a cup from her so that's already measured out and my flour I put a cup of corn meal and I'll put a cup of flour it needs to be about the same amount of both she had a little bit more than a cup, of course, so I dumped it in there. And a lot of us southern people likes our um, cornbread sweet, sweet. And that might be enough. I'll taste test it. I'm not going to ask anybody else to because it's got um, some egg in it. bit nitpicky. There's a little piece of white stuff in there. I won't say what people call it, but I like to get it out. Okay, now let's put some milk. This is just, I'm, <laughs> I'm going by, you know, I'm sure that ain't going to be enough milk. We'll start, get the oven to preheat into about 350. And, uh, Get me a bigger spoon to stir this up with. I don't think that was enough milk. I'm sure it wasn't. Let's just hope I don't put too much. <laughs> of course, I can not always, I don't have to put it all in that pan right there if it's too much. You just stir it up until it's all blended up real good. Get that egg and stuff all mixed in there real good. Make sure you try to get all the lumps and stuff out of it if there are any. And for some reason there was some. My little neighbor keeps her cornmeal and her flour in the freezer. She stores everything in the freezer and that might be why I got lumps because it's frozen. It really is frozen in there. But it keeps it good and fresh. That was the problem I had a while ago. I had mine stored in a bag, but sometimes 
It was a new bag and it must have been sitting on the shelf too long at the store because it got weevils in it. And I opened the bag and they was alive. And my little film maker thought I should show it, but I don't. It's gross. We just throwed it away and kept on getting it. Cornmeal fries. <laughs> See it. All right, I think we got this stirred up pretty good now, and I'm just going to taste it off of this. And, Cause if my cornbread don't have enough sugar, I don't like it. <laughs> And I think it's got enough. The next thing I got to do, this is a non-stick pan, but you just have to spray it with some spray. It keeps it, um, so it won't stick. It won't, shouldn't stick anyway, but we use the spray. And then I'm going to... Pour it in, should even out, and I'll by itself. Just right. Just right. This right amount. And it should, when it bakes, it's self rising flour and cornmeal. It should come right up to the top, hopefully. Be all pretty and light brown with any luck. See a couple of little lumps in there, but hopefully they will blend out. Most of the time they do. Okay, we'll put the corn bread in the oven and right on the center rack. We're going to let that cook about 20 minutes, maybe a few more. Just have to check it. Let's stir a bit and give it a little tasting. Clean that lid up again here in a minute. And the stove. See all my different kind of beans in there? I got pork and beans, red kidneys, and northerns, and just whatever you got in the pantry. But always a few cans of kidney. Okay, let's taste it. I'll have to cool it for my taster this time. It's hot. Ready, taster? <laughs> I'm getting a thumbs up, so that must mean it's good. Well, good. Okay, good job. we're ready to pull this cornbread out and check it here. Oh, that looks good to me. Oh, that's pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's good and done. Turn that thing off. Let's check this. Those look real good. Looks good and done. I got a mess on the lid again. We'll turn that one off. Okay, the last thing I got to do is I put a little bit of butter. I rub the butter across this bread here it keeps it from getting hard around the corners and stuff it'll be just right keeps the bread good and soft and it'll be perfect okay well the bread's good beans are delicious everything's good good Oyster crackers and the cheese, and thank you for looking.